Last week I showed off uh, three apps I use to manage my life. It was Obsidian, Logseek and Todoist. I thought I'd do a bit more of a deep dive into one of them. Uh, and this week it's Logseek time. Uh, next week I'll do either Obsidian or Todoist and so forth. First off, like I said last week, I use Logseek for personal journaling. So all the entries I'm showing off today are fake. I use a fake graph just to show off how I use it. So when I open up Logseek, it looks like this. Um, this is the journal page. And as I said in my previous video, I rarely leave this, this view. Every day when I open Logseek, it, um, it starts a new, a new note with today's date. And as you see, um, in Logsec, there, Logsec uses blocks and every bullet here is its own block with uh, blocks underneath or, or rather bullets underneath that, that goes to this block. You'll see later how uh, these blocks can be very useful and I try to make each new thought uh, a new block and you'll see later why. Um, as you can see, I just write down random things that happen or that I think about. Every new thought gets a bullet. Uh, some people and things, they get their own page. But as I said before, not every person gets a, a, a page or not, not every place get a page. But let's just see. Let's, let's press John Doe here. <clears throat> so here's the page for John Doe my pretend husband. <laughs> Most of my pages for, for people and places only have uh, these blocks, uh, but I thought my pretend husband deserved some information about himself, so I added some. What I like though is, uh, is this, the linked references, and here you see why I, 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 I give every thought a new block or a new bullet, because now everything about John Doe is collected here, Apparently my uh, pretend husband and I are moving next year, so that's supposed to be exciting. We also have this, unlinked references. I have nothing here, but let's go back to the journal page and we'll just... We can have a new one here. We'll do it like this. John Doe. Aid. Pizza. And we'll press here, and there we go. Now we have an unlinked reference to John Doe. In Obsidian, I can just press a button to link this. I'm, I'm not sure why Logsick doesn't have this choice, but I, it's just, it is what it is. If I want to link this, I can just go back and bracket it. In my actual journal, I link all my reference to my husband, my kids, plus people and places that hold meaning or are important in some way. This gives me an easy way to just go back and see what happens with uh, specific moments in my life with specific people. I find this most helpful and special when it comes to my kids. I already have some fun anecdotes saved and I, I follow their language development, which is in a very expensive phase right now. So I sort of write down when they say a new word or when they start using different words for the same thing or when they do some sort of new language thing. I don't have the same time to sit down and do long form paper journaling at the moment. And uh, since I started interstitial journaling in Obsidian, that, that need has sort of gone away for a bit. But I think Logsick, it feels like a good in-between thing between long-form paper journaling and short interstitial journaling in Obsidian. But as you can see, I don't do much in Logsick. This is not a way to learn or, or develop a skill or create content. It's just to log my day or sort through feelings. Um, choices I have to make, big or small. But Logsec is capable of much more than what I've shown. I mean, just 
just for a super simple like there are so many things so many easy things here to just do like if you want to add tasks they can have priorities and you can do queries and cal calculations and embedding you can connect with Sotero so and this is just like right clicking I think there's a bunch of plugins that can help you do a lot of different things. So I think Logsec is like Obsidian. You know, you 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 get back what you put into it. The thing that different differentiates them the most is the the block thing. And this doesn't come natively in Obsidian, and I don't need it for what I do in Obsidian. But for here, it's pretty cool. Unlike Obsidian, I have no plugins or anything in Logsec. I even remove the flashcard choice because I don't need it, I don't use it. This is just feelings. There are a lot of videos out there showing off like all the cool things Logsec can do. I enjoy watching how people use their software. And I thought that even if my use is more basic than say people like Shu Omi, I thought that it might motivate or inspire someone. Sometimes you want to go back to the basics without bells and whistles and um, big big thoughts. Uh, some of these advanced videos can feel overwhelming when you're just starting using a software or when you feel like you you want to start small and then you go on YouTube and you see these very complex setups. Sometimes you just want to journal. Sometimes this is all you need. And I think even though Logsy can do way more, it's perfection for this. It's just so great. So this is how I use Logsec. I mostly use the app, or rather I only use the app. I use the desktop version here to just show uh, in an easy way what, what it can do. And uh, as I said here, I usually write in my own language, Swedish. And uh, so this, um, I'm sorry if I made some weird grammar mistakes here. So as I said in the beginning, next week I'll probably show off, I think, Todoist. And I will do Obsidian. Uh, last. I got some comments on, on my last video about how they use Logsec and I, I love hearing about how other people use their software so if you have a video about Logsec please link it in my comments or if you just want to sort of do a rundown on how you use it um, I'm super interested to hear.